everyone. This is the Elta's How To series. I'm Vera Tilner. And I'm Michelle Kremser. We're here to give you tips and tricks on how to teach more effectively. everyone and for my how-to today I'm going to explain for those members who are uh, members or students who are at threshold or um, beginning intermediate levels uh, how to properly form questions in an easy memorable way so I call it the one two three four the rest method okay so in the first place um, you always have a WH question so if, if you have a WH word it always goes into the first place right Okay, so we start with our who, what, where, when, why, how, which, all of that. How much, how many, uh, how often, how few, all of that. All of that goes into the first place. If it's there, because some questions, you know, do you like hamburgers? Okay, and so in the second part, the second part of the question is what goes in the second space in a question? You need some type of helping verb, don't you? So what are your helping verbs? You have do, what else? Are. Are, okay, be, any form of be, is, are. Um, have. Have, very typical, have or has. Must. Mm -hmm. Must, the modal verbs, yeah? Mm -hmm. Should, would, can, all of those things. So that would go into the, your second space, okay? So can I go to the restroom? Can I play after school? Um, okay, so we get the idea. So in the second space, you have your helping verb in the conjugated form. In the third space, what we have is what? What comes next? Subject. Your subject. Subject. Easy to remember. Subject. So Bob, my sister, the Empire State Building, whatever your subject is. It doesn't have to be just one word. It could be he, she, them, anybody, right? So that goes into the third space. Fourth space, what goes there? The active verb, what you're doing. So work, play, go, whatever. And then in the fifth position comes the rest, whatever the rest is that you're talking about, okay? Because at these early stages, we're really trying to get the students to form their questions properly. Because otherwise you have instances where the students are saying things like, um, like you hamburgers? No, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. We don't, yeah. we don't talk that way. And an easy way to remember, obviously, is a one, two, three, four kind of thing. So later on, what is helpful with this, you can use this in the same spaces. For example, how do I do this when I'm working with the present continuous? When you form a question with the present continuous, are you going? So the active verb in the active verb column in four, that takes the ing form. And so it's really rather easy. And you can go even further to the present perfect. You always have the conjugated, the helping verb in the one column. Huh? Has, uh, have you ever done? Mm? You learn to stick the things in between and it always goes in that order. One, two, three, four, the rest. Are you a teacher in an organization or looking for an organization like Eltas? Please contact us at info at Also, if you'd like to participate in one of our videos, please contact us at social media at Eltas.de. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Gracie approves, little girl, don't you? That's my baby girl. Can you speak? She doesn't want to. <laughs> Bye.